infectious diseases. Infectious diseases is the disease caused by pathogenic microorganism such as bacteria, viruses, parasite or fungi. So the infectious diseases can be infected through direct contact with a person who is sick or indirect contact which is when you touch something that has germs on it or can be infected through the insect vector example like anopheles mosquito so this mosquito uh, can cause the malaria disease and infectious disease can be infected through the contaminated food water soil or plants Dengue. So the dengue, dengue virus are transmitted through the bite of infected Addis aegypti and Addis albopictus female mosquitoes, especially during the daytime. So uh, dengue uh, viruses infected to the person normally the person affected by these viruses suspected when uh, have high fever uh, around 40 degrees Celsius accompanied by two of the following symptoms one of it is severe headache pain behind the eyes muscle and joints pains Nausea, vomiting, swollen of the gland or rash. So this figure or this picture uh, shown how the dengue is uh, big problematics or big headaches, uh, especially in Asia. So in Asia is the most infected region with about 75% of the global burden of dengue so let's look into our country malaysia so in 2015 malaysia has dengue cases about 43,000. it's quite a number eh? <laughs> so over the last 50 years dengue incident has increased by 34 so you can imagine in 2021 so how many dengue cases in our country so you can find it uh, on internet so prevention for dengue wear neutral color clothing long sleeve or beatable garments Removing container and disposing of unwanted rubbish around the yards that may collect or retain the water. Store container upside down or let pots drain directly onto the ground. So by avoid using saucer or drip tray under pot plant. So this can prevent the breeding or reproduction of mosquito use of personal household protection example like window screen mosquito nets long sleeve clothes insecticide treated material called and vaporizer or surface spray like aerosol so another prevention is by fumigation so this action uh, always or sometimes done by KKM Kementerian Kesihatan Malaysia especially uh, on the area which have high dengue cases
or some of the country distribute the vaccine especially to those people living in some dengue and the mixed country but uh, vaccine sometimes is not efficient especially if the country uh, have a uh, uh, false serotype of the dengue so normally this vaccine is specific for one serotype so uh, for country that affected by false serotype which is exits for serotype of dengue viruses in the country it can hinder uh, by the needs to create immunity gains all for dengue serotypes means you have uptakes or take the vaccine for four serotype of dengue viruses next infectious disease is tuberculosis Tuberculosis or TB is caused by bacteria, which is Mycobacterium tuberculosis. But TB can also be caused by the bacterium Myobacterium bovis. So for Myobacterium bovis, it lives in animal and can be transmitted to children or people who drink unpasteurized milk from infected cow usually tuberculosis most often affects the lungs area tuberculosis is curable and preventable so this figure show how the spreading of the tuberculosis from a patient to the other persons so can pass through or transmit through the air by sneezing or coughing so actually to the is quite a big headache especially in our southeast asia so in 2070s number of new TB cases occurred in spite in Southeast Asia and Western Pacific region as well. Prevention for tuberculosis or TB, one of it and uh, the most efficient is by immunization. TB vaccine. BCG, so this vaccine or immunization is often given to babies and children. So TB also can prevented can be prevented by improving the ventilation in indoor spaces. So this practice can make your bacteria present in the air. Next prevention is by using the residual ultraviolet slam. So this practice can kill airborne bacteria in buildings. So this practice always done by the places that high risk of tuberculosis or a uh, lot of people affected by TB. Another prevention is by treating latent or dormant infection before it become active. Lastly is for infected people that carry the tuberculosis, tuberculosis disease they have to practice cough ethics and respiratory hygiene.
hepatitis. Hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver. So in chronic hepatitis, the liver inflammation continues for at least six months for a long time. So this condition may be mild and result in relatively little damage or may be more serious resulting in destruction of many liver cells. Some severe cases leads to cirrhosis. So cirrhosis uh, can be defined as a chronic disease of the liver marked by degeneration of cell, inflammation and fibrous in liver and eventually leads to liver failure. So this figure show how hepatitis is a risk for travelers worldwide. So this occur if the traveler travel at the region that high prevalence of hepatitis. So before you uh, plans to travel to a certain region or certain country that have high cases of uh, hepatitis disease, make sure you are prepared with the vaccination or you have taken the vaccination of certain hepatitis vaccine. How hepatitis spreads? So there are three types of hepatitis in common. Hepatitis A, B and C. For hepatitis A, the transmission transmission is fecal or oral. It's common in areas of poor sanitary condition. So hepatitis A epidemics can occur in situation of water contamination. Next, hepatitis B transmission occur via body fluids, including blood or semen. So high risk groups include medical personnel, male homosexual or intercourse sexual and dialysis patients. For hepatitis C, the virus is usually spread by direct contacts with the blood of an infected person, including sharing needles and blood transfusion. So this is how these three hepatitis spreads. Prevention for hepatitis by vaccination. So if you want to immunization or vaccination, you have to uh, take hepatitis A and B vaccine. Unfortunately, unfortunately for vaccination of hepatitis C is not yet available. Next prevention is always wash your hands thoroughly after using the restroom and when you come in contact with an infected person blood, stool or other bodily fluids. Avoid unclean food and water since hepatitis can be infected by eating food or drinking water that has the hepatitis A in it. 
Next is avoid contact with other people's blood and body fluids. Do not share toothbrushes, razor, and nail clippers. So these, so these are prevention for hepatitis.